Hi, I'm Senator Dalen Leach, and in a continuing effort uh, to keep you posted on the legislation that we are introducing and promoting, I wanted to give you an update on cash bail. Uh, we've been doing a series of these videos, but despite the fact that we're wearing the same shirt in all of them, they're all done different days after uh, much preparation. Anyway, this is a, a bill that would eliminate, essentially, cash bail um, in Pennsylvania for most cases. Uh, cash bail, to me, is just a way to warehouse poor people. Uh, if I am arrested for almost anything other than murder, uh, I post bail, I go home tonight, I'm back with my family, I'm back on my job, and then I can fight out the uh, charge, whatever it is, in, in court over the next whatever, however many months it might be. Uh, but if I'm poor, I can't make that bail. And so I go and sit in jail. Uh, it could be six months, could be a year, could be a year and a half, at the end of which I might, the charges might be dropped, I might be acquitted, I might be convicted but sentenced to less than I've already served because I couldn't make bail. The purpose of bail is not to punish people, the purpose of bail is to guarantee that they show up at the next hearing. Uh, my bill would say that the, the, the judge could still impose bail, say, for example, $5,000 bail, but you don't have to pay that $5,000 to get out of jail, you just owe the court the $5,000 if you don't show up for your next hearing. Other places that have done this have shown they have the same rate of people showing up as putting people in jail. So not only does putting people in jail because they're too poor to get out destroy their lives, they all, all you know, lose their job, lose their housing, often lose their family, uh, and in many cases never recover, even though they haven't been convicted of anything. Um, so, uh, you know, that would solve that problem. Another problem it solves for all of us is it costs, you know, between forty and forty-five thousand dollars a year to keep someone in jail. Uh, that's money that we could, uh, you know, spend on other things that are much more effective uh, in fighting crime. Um, so, uh, you know, there's still some exceptions. If it's a, a violent person who is a danger to the community, uh, the court can order them incarcerated uh, without bail, which they can do now. But it's uh, at least we won't have a system. Uh, that's based on your ability to pay. Um, we had a hearing on this recently, uh, and other states are doing this. The city of Philadelphia, uh, the DA has announced that he's going to end uh, using cash bail. Uh, this is a, a, something whose time has come, um, and I will keep you posted uh, regarding whether it uh, moves quickly or not. And uh, hopefully we will be able to uh, you know, clear out some of our prisons. You know, keep in mind, in Philadelphia, Two-thirds of the people in jail are there not because they're convicted, but just because they're too poor to pay the bail. It's time for that to stop, and I will keep you posted.